great pleasure to be here today to talk to you about disability etiology, a topic that has significant implications for millions of people around the world. Disability etiology is a study that causes of disability and it is essential area for research that has the potential to improve the life of people with disabilities. It encompasses a wide range of factors, including genetic, environment, social determinants of the health. In recent years, there has been significant progress in our understanding of etiology, especially for the disabilities. For example, we now know that some disabilities are caused by genetic mutation, while others are the result of exposure to environmental toxic. Similar that we have better understanding of the social determinants of the health, and it can also contribute to disabilities. All right, so the environmental factor, okay, environmental factor and also medical factor is one of the reasons. Environmental factor especially can contribute to uh, disability etiology. Uh, example from the prenatal factors such as uh, maternal exposure to toxin, infection, or maybe the malnutrition, okay, can have significant impact on fetal development and it increased the risk of disabilities. Postnatal factors such as accident, injuries, and also exposure to harmful substances can also contribute to the development of disabilities. Social factor uh, also playing some important role in disability uh, etiology, especially the uh, limited access to the healthcare. Okay, inadequate support system. Uh, some could not could have impact on the uh, disability and uh, opportunity for the full participant in the society. So addressing these social determinants of the health is essential to promote inclusive and reducing the incident of disability. All right. Uh, despite this progress, there is still much that we don't know about the cause of the disabilities. This is um, partially true for many rare and complex conditions, which can be challenging to be diagnosed or actually to be treated on. Okay, so the medical role, the medical model and social model, and also biopsychology, uh, biopsychosocial model. Okay, the medical model especially, uh, together with these three models, okay, is a framework that is being used to understand the approach of disability. So each model provides a different perspective on the cause and experience of the intervention related to disabilities. So the medical model, the medical model view of disabilities uh, Primary view of disabilities is the medical condition or impairment that focuses on how to diagnose the treating uh, or treat or how to treat the, the individual uh, mental health or physical condition to avoid symptom and uh, to provide the to improve the function. Okay, so the medical model to emphasize medical intervention such as uh, medication surgery or therapy to address the individual impairments and also to promote their adaptation to the society. So in contrast, the social model of disability plays an important role okay, on uh, emphasizing on the social society barriers okay, and attitude of, of primary cause in the disability. According to this model, Disability is not solely a result of individual impairment, but rather the result of uh, inaccessible environment and social exclusion. So the social model highlights that need for social uh, structure change to create inclusive society always remove the barrier 
that hinder full participation and uh, equality for individuals with disabilities. Right, this is one. The other one is the bio uh, psychosocial model that integrates both medical and social perspective. And uh, the recognize of the model is to get the complex interaction of biology and uh, psychological and also social factor in disability. So this model uh, basically acknowledge the disabilities and uh, how it influenced by combi combining on uh, individual health condition. Okay, that is important to see the psychological factor and the social part of that individual. So in uh, this model also emphasize the importance of holistic approach and um, consideration of biological and um, uh, psychological and uh, social understanding to provide uh, health care and benefit for the individual. All right. And um, the other one would be the genetic part of it. Genetic, genetic and uh, epigenetical factor in disabilities. All right. So genetic and epigenetical factor plays an important significant role in developing the disabilities. Okay. So genetic factor uh, refers to inherent vari variations okay, of an individual's DNA that actually influence, okay, influence the certain condition or impairment that is uh, what they are having. So this genetical factor can be a single gene mutation or uh, chromosomal abnormalities or complex interaction between uh, multiple genes they can also contribute to a wide range of disabilities, including genetical disorder, intellectual disabilities, and also uh, the delay in development. So genetical factor can affect various aspects of the individual development, such as their physical characteristic, okay, cognitive ability, or sometimes the uncertain of health condition. Okay? Advances in genetical research have actually allowed for uh, identification of a specific genes and also genetical mutation association with various disabilities, providing insight into uh, underlying the mechanism, a potential venue, and targeted treatment. Okay, sometimes inter interventions too. Okay, uh, epigenetical factor, on the other hand, uh, involve modification of gene expression, okay, that uh, do not involve changes in DNA sequence itself, okay, it's more to epigenetical modification uh, that influence in various uh, environmental factors, such as nutrition, stress, toxin, uh, early life experiences and things like that. So this modification can affect genetic activities and regulation. Okay, so potential impact on individual development and increase their, uh, their chances to disabilities. So understanding this uh, interplay between genetic and epigenetical factor is crucial. Okay, although it's complex, it is crucial to understand because it helps the researcher and healthcare profession to identify the risk factor or to predict the outcome and the developmental part of the intervention. Additionally, knowledge or genetic and epi, um, epigenetical factor can actually aid the genetical counselling or early detection or prevention strategy for certain disabilities. So it is very much important that... Uh, we should have we should involve a complex uh, a complex research part research area between genetic and epigenetic and also the environmental factor to have a collaboration okay to deepen the understanding and factor that can prevent prevent treat or support the uh, uh, disabilities all right so um 
towards the role and uh, genetic and epigenetic development of disabilities, you have uh, we have a lot of sig significant uh, contribution. Okay, significant contribution in the characteristic, especially uh, the epigenetic part. It involves the gene expression pattern without the alteration in DNA sequence. So epigenetical modification can influence by uh, environmental factor. Okay, and sometimes the understanding is very important. Okay, between the genes, the interaction, we need to actually do further research. If you ask me, we need to do uh, interdisciplinary collaboration research between genes, epigenetic modification, environmental factor, and how to improve the prevention management to support the individual dis disability. Okay, there are a few types of genetic mutation that can cause disabilities. Okay, that can also lead into type of disabilities. Okay, uh, example, uh, there's different types. Example, uh, point mutation, changes that happen in single uh, nucleotide that has base pair of DNA. Okay, this is point mutation. Frame shift mutation, frame shift mutation that occur uh, when you have, when we have the nucleotide which is inserted or deleted that multiplies between one, between the other three. That means the multiplies uh, other than this tree, that means with alteration of breeding frame and DNA sequence. So this result in shifting of genetic code. Okay, the third one, uh, repeating the expansion. Okay, repeating the DNA sequence. In in another word of telling it, repeating the DNA se sequence within the genes. All right. The next one will be um, chromosomal abnormalities where we have mutation changes in structure and a number of chromosomes that include deletion, uh, duplication, okay, uh, translocation. Okay, these are the abdominal change. Okay, uh, chromosomal uh, abnormalities widely happen nowadays. Okay, that result in Down syndrome and so on. Okay, um, can also be the other way is splice site mutation. Okay, where genes determine how the sequence process to final uh, messenger. Okay, messenger here is uh, mRNA. Okay, of course, these are certain things that is uh, happening involving the genetic. So, of course, understanding the causes of disability is only one part of the equation. Right? We, we also need to work uh, to ensure uh, that people with disabilities have access to support and a resource that they need to fulfill a meaningful life. Okay, This includes access of healthcare, education, uh, employment opportunity as well that allow them to participate fully in the society. So as a conclusion, disability etiology is an essential area of research that has uh, potential to improve life of uh, millions of people around the world. While there is uh, still much that we don't know, that we have uh, significantly progressed in recent years. And uh, I am confident that if we continue to do research and innovation, we can continue to make uh, understanding of knowledge that cause of uh, disability and developing the uh, effective intervention and treatment uh, is available. Thank you.